everybody. I just have to tell you that I just met some of the most amazing people. We, uh, we met patients that were absolutely terribly wounded. And the doctors, the nurses, all of the people at the hospital have done a, a job that's indescribable. And they were full the night that it happened, before it happened. Correct. And they found room for many people. How many people came in? We had 100 come in, and we admitted 50. Um, what I saw today is a, just an incredible tribute to professionalism. And what they have done is incredible. And you never want to see it again. That I can tell you. You know what Absolutely. it is. But, and the patience, the bravery. Some uh, were very, very badly wounded. And they were badly wounded because they refused to leave. They wanted to help others because they saw people going down all over. And uh, it's an incredible thing to see. There's tremendous bravery. The police department, incredible. The people themselves, incredible. People leaving ambulances to have somebody else go because they thought they were hurt even more so. Uh, the professionalism of the doctors and the medical staffs uh, at this hospital and at other hospitals. You're saying how the coordination that you had with other hospitals. The community covered everything. They did a perfect job. John, say a few words to the press. <laughs> no, we couldn't be more proud of the community response. Every hospital took serious patients. Everybody took care of them well. And uh, we've exercised our disaster plan in Las Vegas, and it was rolled out flawlessly. I have to tell you, it makes you very proud to be an American when you see the job that they've done. And people that would not be around today are up there, and they'll be leaving the hospital in a week or two weeks or five weeks. Uh, and in some cases, even in a few days, a few hours. it's amazing. One in a few hours, and you would never have believed that. So uh, I just want to congratulate everybody. It's incredible. Incredible what you've done. We met quite a few people, and uh, believe me, they are very lucky to be here. And, what what uh, message did right. you have for them, Mr. President? Well, I think uh, the only message I can say is that we're with you 100 percent. We are, uh, in fact, I invited a lot of them over to the White House. They said, if you're ever in Washington, come on over to the Oval Office. And they're all saying, we want to do it. How do we do it? And believe me, I'll be there for them. But uh, the message that I have is we have a great country, and we are there for you. And uh, and they're there for us. Mr. President, there's a question about gun, gun violence problem. Well, we're not going to talk about that today. We won't talk about that. Uh, not yet. No, we're looking. I can tell you it's a uh, very sick man. He was a very demented person. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, but you will know very soon if we find something. We're looking very, very hard. I'm actually going over to the police department, who likewise, Dr. Pennycrow. Unbelievable. The fact that they were able to locate that zone and get in there, they say 11 minutes, whatever it was, it kept him busy and he stopped firing because he knew they were coming into that door at some point. Uh, I think they did an incredible job. The professionalism has just been amazing. So I want to thank you all. And we're now going over to the police headquarters. And doctors, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very honored by his comments. It was fake news. It was a totally phony story. Thank you very much. It was made up. It was made up by NBC. They just made it up. Thank you all. Thank you. Total confidence in you. I have total confidence. Thank you very much, everybody.